Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Dempsey and Makepeace on the Amstrad CPC. Yes, Dempsey and Makepeace. There was a computer game of it. I think it only ever came out on the Amstrad CPC. Right, you have two hours to rescue your partner, Makepeace, who has been captured and held somewhere over a vast area of London. Oh no, by the way, don't worry, this is not a text adventure game um, right okay right you can f yes I can't remember if I read all that and there's more right okay we're getting some nice music so all starting out looking pretty good isn't it we've even got a nice digitized screen now of Dempsey and Makepeace and yeah you think wow and then you look Britannia software <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is where things start to go downhill. Britannia Software have produced some shit games. One of them being Grand Prix Driver, which was the first game I brought for my Amstrad CPC. And that game was utter crap. Right, let's just push return and it'll start loading. Um, and the other game was Home Runner. Never had that back in the day, but I remember the welcome tape at the demo. But I've also um, reviewed it, and that was utter shit. Right, so here we go. Um, left, right, and you end. Right, push fire to start. K to change the key. So all looking good at the moment for Britannia Software. So we even got definable keys. O, P, Q, and A, and space for fire. Right, okay, to check. during the game, eight and nine, sound on or off. So we've got sounds, escape, quit, quit, es yeah, escape, quit. All right, so all looking good at the moment until we get to play the fucking thing. Uh, yes, it reminds me a little bit, playing it, Remind me of Short Circuit if you've ever played that on the Amstrad CPC. It was sort of a similar la layer. You have to go around examining stuff. So we got this little um, um, iconic icons down here. So that's search. You have found a blue key. Right. So have we picked that up? What's that do? Nothing found. Um, obviously. Uh, right. So we found a blue key. Um, so we've got mode, so we can't use that. Yeah, so it reminds me a little bit of short circuit, and also a little reminds me a little bit of um, a view to a kill when they're in the city all stage. A little bit like that, same sort of similar layout. So let's have a look. A crowbar. So that arrow means we can pick it up. Um, so what's this? With what? So that's probably you can use. So what's the telephone? No phone, right? So we've got no phone here. So that's our inventory. So we got a, a blue key and a crowbar. So that might be use, and that's obviously might be pick up. So that could be the use, right? And go is obviously going back to the um, the game, walking around. So basically, it looks like we've got to explore stuff. So examine that no nothing found nothing found this looks like a TV or something so nothing found so um so basically so we can't can we get through that door yes we can right so now we've got to do the same thing here. Let's have a look in here. Let's have a look at that. Examine it. Nothing found. Might be something in the filing cabinet. Nothing found. What about the lamp? Nothing found. Right. Um, what about here? Nothing found. So there's nothing here. Come on, can we go through? A blue door, or do we have to use the blue key to get through the door? No. Oh, fucking hell, look at all these chairs. So let's have a look at the 
screen, nothing found. Don't tell me I've got to examine all these chairs. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. Oh, what's this? Oh, now it's. So we ain't. Oh, we are armed with a gun. So now it turns into this top down perspective. We shoot. Oh, we shot him. So, okay. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. Right, well, should we go through this door? I don't think we can go through this door. Might need a key for that. Right, so we'll just carry on going through here. And it's absolutely fuck all. What's this? A coat hanger? Let's have a look at the coat hanger. Nothing found. Right, I'm, t I'm, I'm presuming this is a door here. Yes, so let's have a look at the table. Nothing found. So we got a crowbar and, and we can't go through the fucking door. I wish we can. Now we're back to here again. Now, so we've gone round in a circle, but I can see a doorway down here. So now we're driving in the car. And why is it stopped? Oh, right. So you hold your button down. Long you hold your button down, you drive quicker. Right. Let's do a turn. Oh, bloody hell. That was instant. Whoa. Oh, fucking, I've crashed. You have crashed and taken two minutes to find your car. What? Yeah, the, the driving part is pretty crap. Oh, my God. You have three minutes to find an... I'll oh, find another car. So, so we've gone to a Grand Theft Auto sort of thing here. So it's taken four minutes to find another car. Oh, my God. I can't even... I can't even steer it. So, I've been rear-ended because I couldn't... Because I couldn't turn. Right. So can we go back? Oh no, the car just... Oh bloody, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is terrible to drive. Right, okay. Now I can't even move at all. What's going on? It won't go. Controls are very unresponsive at times. Oh my goodness. So it's taken me five minutes to find another car. And it's always the same car. Oh fucking hell, this is ridiculous. And it's taken me another five minutes to find a car. And it's exactly the same car. And it won't even turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is... <laughs> this is really bad. This is terrible. And the car just disappeared for a second and blew up. It takes me five minutes to find another car. This is... Oh, fucking... So, the other cars don't bother stopping. So there's no um, AI there with other cars. They just drive straight into you. And now the car just don't want to go. And it didn't want to stop either. Dude, what ass... This... I suppose the first bit wasn't too bad, but when you come to the driving, this is really terrible. The driving experience is the worst. You know, you thought I was thinking, oh, the driving bit would be the best part. No, the driving bit is actually the worst part. Come on, go up the. F oh, it wouldn't even respond. It, it just would not respond. It's just n the controls are just terrible. Right, and I slowed down and it wouldn't stop. How many fuck 
fucking cars, is there? Right, let's go the other way. Now I don't want to go. Oh, let's drop. Right, let's see if we can actually... No, it wouldn't turn. Uh, this, this is crap. This is really, really bad. Look, oh, it wouldn't fucking turn at all. There, it, 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 the the input lag is crap. Right, go, look, go! I had my fucking finger on the key. It wouldn't go. I have played. You know. Excuse me for a second there. I have played a lot of TV tie-in computer games, and majority of them have all been shit, i.e. Knight Rider, Street Hawk, um, Airwolf was pretty bad because it was so bollocking hard. Um, the A-Team on... Yeah. The A-Team on the Commodore 64... It wouldn't fucking turn! The A-Team on the Commodore 64... Well, we're not... Won't even talk about that. Um... Miami Vice on the Amstrad, that was a pretty shit. Um, there is others. Super Grand, that was shit on everything. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, what chance did I have there? There's a lot, a lot of um, television tie-in games. EastEnders was another crap one on the Spectrum. Um, I think there was Neighbours. I don't know, I can't remember that. That was about skateboarding. So like 720 on Ramsey Street, that was. Um, oh, majority of television tying games on computer, made into computer games, have all been shit. Minder, that wasn't too bad. But this, when you get to the driving part, this is worse than um, Miami Vice. This is actually worse than fucking... Um, James Bond game, um, A View to a Kill. I thought the driving part was bad on that, but this beats it for crapness. This is absolutely terrible. I mean, the first part wasn't too bad. I mean, okay, well, there's nothing really wrong with the first part, to be honest with you. Nothing really wrong with it, because as I say, it reminded me a little bit of Short Circuit and um, a view to a kill in the city all stage but when you come to the driving it's like a completely different thing it's just like it's a completely different programmer that's programmed the driving part to the other part you know they probably had two separate programmers on this game the first part when you're walking around the buildings wasn't too bad but when you get to the driving part, oh my god. I don't know what's more shit. If you find shit in the back of a horse box, or playing this game. I'm saying playing this game is worse than finding fucking shit in the back of a horse box. This is much more shit. I've had enough. I, I, I can't play this no more. It is just ridiculous. It is really terrible really fucking terrible when you get into the driving part it ruins the game as I said the first bit wasn't too bad when you're roaming around the buildings but when you get to the driving part oh god the game was going the game went downhill you know thank you Britannia Software for producing another shit game well I can say it's half shit because the first bit wasn't too bad uh, but when you get to the driving, forget it. It's terrible. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.